The change of command ceremony is a time-honored tradition that formally symbolizes the continuity of authority as command is passed from one individual to another in an observance conducted before the ship's company. The change of command, as traditionally practiced within the Coast Guard today, is a total transfer of responsibility, authority, and accountability from one individual to another. The change of command takes place after the reading of the orders and is immediately reported to the presiding officer. Today, Captain Holly Harrison will relieve Captain David Ramassini of the duties of commanding officer Coast Guard Cutter Kimball. This is the first change of command for the Coast Guard Cutter Kimball. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce Commander Coast Guard Pacific Area and Commander Defense Forces West, Vice Admiral Linda Fagan. This is the first national security cutter to be home ported outside of the continental United States and I know you will build on an already strong record of service and will continue to lead. So Captain Ramassini, your lasting legacy to Kimball will be as the original plank owning commanding officer. And thank you for being an inspirational leader, focused on promoting readiness, proficiency, and professionalism. You have embodied all of this and more during your command. You've adeptly managed the relationships and expectations of a vast range of stakeholders, all while building a proficient crew and a robust community. Citation to accompany the award of the Meritorious Service Medal, Gold Star in lieu of a second, to Captain David W. Ramassini, United States Coast Guard. Captain Ramassini is cited for meritorious service in the performance of duty as commanding officer, Coast Guard Cutter Kimball, from January 2017 to May 2019. Embodying the Kimball namesake and passion for readiness through training, Captain Ramassini championed for a multitude of opportunities to maintain crew proficiency while in pre-commissioned status. His strategic direction was critical to enabling 550 temporary duty deployments that supported national hurricane responses across Texas, Florida, and Puerto Rico. His operational acumen was showcased during Pacific Area's participation in the 2018 Rim of the Pacific Exercise, the world's largest international naval exercise. He also facilitated the first transfer of a decommissioned major cutter to the Sri Lankan Navy. His exceptional leadership ensured Kimball efficiently met all operational milestones during a seven-month initial readiness period that included U.S. Navy aviation facility certification, U.S. Coast Guard helicopter and boat standardization visits, ready for sea certification, and completion of 500 unit qualifications. These were critical to safely execute the 11,000 nautical mile voyage en route to Hawaii as the first national security cutter home ported outside the continental United States for service in the vast and critical Indo-Pacific region. Captain Ramassini's dedication and devotion to duty are most heartily commended and are in keeping with the highest traditions of the United States Coast Guard. The operational distinguishing device is authorized. Captain Harrison, Holly, welcome to Pacific Area. And today marks your continued service in what is one of the most challenging and rewarding jobs in the Coast Guard, Command Afloat. This commissioning pennant was the first flown when we first took a delivery of the ship at Huntington Ingalls Shipyard in Pascagoula, Mississippi. I will now read my orders from Coast Guard Personnel Center to Captain David W. Ramassini. Orders new assignment. Detach and proceed to the Pentagon as a Coast Guard liaison to Chairman Joint Chiefs of Staff. I will now read my orders from U.S. Coast Guard Personnel Command to Captain Holly R. Harrison. Subject, orders, new assignment. Depart Coast Guard Headquarters, proceed and report to Coast Guard Cutter Kimball, Honolulu, Hawaii, for assignment as Commanding Officer. Thank you. 